Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing this little series called What's Hidden. So, we're on Aries now. Now, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors, please give us some messages for Aries and what they don't see coming. What's hidden? Some of you could be going back to school. Don't see that coming. Learn something, some new expertise. expertise. What does Aries have hidden from them? What don't they see coming? What messages for Aries and what is hidden or what they don't see coming? Messages for Aries. I'm here in podcast, and that's so odd, because my cousin, she's an Aries, right? And I know she's going to watch this, okay? But I heard podcast, so something could, you, something could go with your podcast, like, boom, okay? With the world card on the bottom, like, it could, it could like, you could complete a level and, like, level up to a bigger level here. Yeah, something with your victory here. I don't know, something victorious, okay? But I'm here in podcast or any other Aries that might have a podcast out there, okay? I'm hearing something to do with a podcast, <clears throat> okay, what does we have? What do we have for Aries that they don't see coming or what's hidden? Messages for Aries. Yeah, and then the the, page, the damn page of Pentacles is on here again. Okay, you're learning some information. You some type of um maybe some <clears throat> some new expertise of study here. Um, learning something new, maybe going, maybe looking at a partnership possibly. Um, but I do feel like that, um, you could also be dealing with some heartbreak or you, this is supposed to be hidden what you don't see coming. Uh, it could be information that comes in and that leads and brings you heartbreak here. Um, but it also could be, uh, information that comes in separately from the heartbreak because that does look like heartbreak. It does look like pain and agony. When you look at that card, oh, I don't really like it. Okay, so, but let's talk about this. Something, you could be learning something here. But this is on the bottom that you don't see coming. Um, learning something that breaks your heart. You could be learning something, going through something, studying something while dealing with a heartbreak all at the same time. Trying to keep your life balanced here with the Justice card in order to heal. And still work on your future plans here. Um, I do feel like you're having a hard time possibly being left out in the cold. When it comes to maybe an offer you give somebody. When it comes to an equal give and take. And uh, you ended up disappointed here. But then we have the Emperor. That is Aries energy. And the Three of Cups. Celebrating with friends here. Okay, so let's just see what we get out. Here, let me put these back in order. Let's see what comes out. King of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini here. There could be some type of serious conversation that is about to happen and you're not aware of it, okay? But I feel like this King of Swords here, he has logic, he has facts, and he speaks and acts and talks based upon the facts here. There could be somebody that you're having a conversation at, with that knows exactly what they want. This could be somebody of authority as well. Um, Queen of Cups here. This could be you as well. Um, this could be energies within you with the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. It could be like a balance between logic and emotion, but logic could be overpowering here when it comes to some type of lover, some type of choice, lover situation, a choice or decision that you possibly need to make here, or it could even be a third party situation here. You or somebody else needs to make, uh, but I do feel Ten of Swords, there is some type of ending coming and you're not aware of this here. And I do feel like you will be retreating. And you're not aware of this, but uh, you're not aware of any of this, but you will find yourself pausing for a moment of reflection not because you're stuck there because you want to stay there in order to pause for reflection here because you might be enduring a tower which is the next card um you could be finding out of a third party situation here huh i hate to say that but with this three of swords three of wands and the lovers here and it just and the ten of swords with something being over it just feels like it could be a Libra Aquarius Gemini that you're dealing with that is um you have a lot of love for you maybe they have a third party or you're finding out that um <clears throat> I don't know maybe somebody's leaving a third party to come heal with you or maybe you found out of a third party and you just want to heal but I just feel like this is something that you don't see coming okay. 
Now let's get some get you a success card shit. Let's see what about the bag shit. Let's look at the bag. That shit was depressing. Let's look at the bag. What the bag say? What did Aquarius look for? Aquarius. Ooh, could be dealing with an Aquarius. Leave the Aquarius gym. Now some of y'all dealing with that Aquarius right there. And that's what that just like, ugh. Maybe he that's the person got y'all in third party. Or maybe they don't have a third party. Maybe the third party is their energy, their uh mom, their uh money. Maybe they put too much time into work. Even though I ain't seen no pinnacles, but I'm just trying to look on the brighter side of things. You see what I'm saying? What success doesn't Aries see coming, please? Messages for Aries and what they don't keep see coming in success. What success card do we have for Aries and what they don't see coming? What is hidden? Message for Aries for success. And what they don't see coming. I'm not going to keep those. There's too many. There we go. We're keeping that one. But they did have Beyonce, Ian Rand, and um, Jeff Bezos. But coming out, damn, I got money in the bank. That I be in a great Cadillac. That's a song playing. This is J.P. Morgan, bitch. Do you hear me? Two, four, six, eight, merge is one. Conglomerate. Be an indispensable cash dispenser. Don't make the laws inspire them. Hey, that's why I said you could be. Some of you guys don't see that you're going to be opening up a bank or going into a collaboration uh, with somebody. But I do feel like you're it's something to do with a lot of money in the bank. Or um, it's going to be, yeah, JP Morgan. That's Chase. Uh -huh. You hear me? That's good money right there. This is what you don't see coming. Don't make the laws inspire them. So you're going to be inspiring some type of laws or inspiring. You're going to be inspiring people here is what you don't see coming. Some type of inspiring that you're going to be doing. Okay, so let's get you out one of these Chinese fortune cookies. Chinese fortune cookie cards. Okay, what we got for Aries, please? God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and ancestors. This is just for Aries. What message do we have for Aries? Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Okay. Wish and good times. So you could have some type of wish here coming true. You could have been maybe made some type of wish. Okay, and, and now you're having good times because you're starting to see that wish come true. But I do feel like there is make a wish and there will be some good times. But I do feel like you're having lots of good times here. Based upon some type of wish coming to true or you will be. Okay, I feel like you're going to feel like you're in heaven with heaven on the bottom of this card. Okay, work life. Okay, I feel like it's going to be you're going to make, make sure to work on your work life balance. Okay, that's going to be important Okay, because somebody's coming in. Papa's got a brand new bag. You hear me? Okay. So that's what I got for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in your next video. Namaste. Peace.